Good morning! Today is tattoo day. Today is Friday, January 6th, and I'm getting tatted up. I've known for a long time that I want a sleeve. I like how I'm wearing long sleeves, so you can't even see where I'm at right now with my tattoos. Here, hold on. Okay, so I've had these same tattoos for like a year and the moon, but I want to add to it. I've known one I've wanted for a long time, but I was struggling to find an artist. I finally found one, and I have my appointment today after work. I'm not 100% sure on like placement. I was kind of thinking about it last night, but I'm just gonna go in. I already sent them the ideas that I want and we'll kind of plan it out. But I'm gonna vlog until then and show you what I'm doing to prep for my tattoos. Starting with, I drank a ton of water yesterday and I'm trying to drink a ton of water today. Honestly, just gonna try to drink this all right now. I'm someone who's really bad at drinking water, but I know it's super important for getting tattoos and the healing process and everything. So I'm gonna try to drink a ton of water. And I got really good sleep last night. Now, as excited as I am about my tattoo, it's not till after work. So I still have a full day of work ahead of me. I should probably get started with that. I'll see you guys at lunch because I'm gonna go to the gym during my lunch break. All right, it's lunchtime. So let's change it to my workout clothes and go to the gym. Gem fit, I've got on leggings from Old Navy. This t-shirt is literally thrifted. It's just a random shirt. I am going to drink this Red Bull. I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to drink caffeine the day of a tattoo, but I'm literally gonna use all the energy I get from it to go to the gym, so hopefully it's fine. I definitely need to start drinking a lot more water today, so I'm gonna try to chug some before I go to the gym, and then I'll drink a bunch while I'm at the gym. This is the section that I am planning on tattooing today. Like just, I'm getting three. They're all gonna be on the upper arm. I don't necessarily have a specific plan. So we'll kind of see how it goes. Okay, last thing and then I'll go to the gym. I'm gonna have one of these little cereal bars. It's the flavor cookies and cream. These are actually so disgusting, but I need a little bit of something in my system. Mmm. I think I'm just used to like, it tasting like sugar. I mean, it has no sugar. It's really good. Today is back in pies at the gym. Very excited, love this day at the gym. Honestly, just so hyped to finally be back in the gym consistently. And I don't know how long I have to wait after my tattoo to work out. So I definitely needed to squeeze the gym in today. <laughs> sweaty worked out sat in the sauna and i feel so much better i almost didn't go to the gym today because i woke up late normally i go before work but i managed to squeeze it in during my lunch break and i'm so glad i did because i think working out just it releases so many just stress anxiety everything that sucks get it all out and now i'm gonna go pick up a nice juicy protein filled carb filled sandwich from Shalotsky's and it's gonna hit so hard cannot wait and then like I said I woke up late so my morning routine was thrown off so I'm gonna pick up my sandwich eat it and read my bible and I go back to work until it's time for my tattoo oh my gosh I got the large and this is bigger than my face yeah yeah it is bigger than your face why is that what you compare it to <laughs> because that's like, a, like that's oh, a really big sandwich, sandwich or, oh my dinner no my face that totally makes sense it's like applicable anyway i think shalatsuki's is the best sandwich place ever this is the video that i came home to abram watching fungus the third kingdom what do you have to say for yourself fungus is cool mushrooms taste good sandwich i have one sliver left that i can eat right before i go i am so full because that, that was just a huge sandwich um i'm gonna take a quick shower and do my makeup real quick so that i can film which is what i'll be doing for the rest of my work day until it's time to go get my tattoos i'm all showered clean and moisturized and picked out my outfit to get my tattoos but like i said gotta film some videos for it because i'm actually gonna change it into like professional looking clothes and then I'll wear this after. Time to do my makeup really quickly. All right, getting all my lights and everything set up to film for my work videos. And it's getting closer and closer to the time of my tattoo. Okay, I finished work, changed back into my outfit. I'm getting a tattoo. 
actually three of them. Anyway, I was just packing everything I need into my bag. I'm bringing a charger, headphones, wallet, cash for a tip, a book, my phone. I need a snack. Oh, my water bottle's upstairs. Fill up my water bottle. I'm gonna eat a few bites of my leftover sandwich because I'm feeling very jittery. Hopefully it's not from the Red Bull. Mmm, cold sandwich. I'm actually feeling a little bit tired because filming really takes it out of me for work. I should have done that earlier in the day. I'm wearing my boyfriend's jacket. Shout out to him and shout out to his family. They all made jokes when they got it for him that I would just steal it and wear it all the time. They were correct. Okay, I met a light on the way to my tattoo appointment. Um, I haven't told you guys what I'm getting yet because you'll just find out. I'll tell you the meaning of them and everything after my appointment. I'm very excited. I just remembered how painful tattoos are and I don't know how excited I am anymore actually. <laughs> Last time I got them, I just remember saying like, whoever says, oh, this place isn't that painful. They're all painful. Yeah, there's worse pain, but oh my gosh, tattoos hurt. It's a needle. So, <laughs> I hope I don't cry. Okay, first one done. <laughs> and Alyssa's here. Hi. Hi. One of three <laughs> done. but it's actually like almost zero pain. It's like, okay, there's something there, but it doesn't hurt at all. The other one actually kind of hurt, so I'm really scared for the sword one, but this one, going good. So it's been a few days, I had like the second skin stuff on and just took it off and cleaned it and everything. So now I wanna show you guys the tattoos and what they read. I am so obsessed. Just like my last tattoos that I got, these ones all are biblical meanings for me and represent God in a way. So this word is tetelestai, which is the last thing that Jesus said on the cross, which means it is finished. The debt has been paid, our sins are forgiven, it's done, it's over, there's never gonna be more like it done. It is finished to tell us that. Um, my pastor gave a sermon on this like right before I was getting baptized and I was like, it was so good. Just like the way he talked about it in depth. So I really wanted to get it tattooed on me. So I did. I'll explain the pain levels of them as well. This one was the first one that I did. So the pain level was like, oh, I'm getting a tattoo. Maybe like four or five out of 10. There were a few spicy spots cause it is a little bit closer to the elbow, but not too bad. The next one I got is this butterfly. I actually kind of designed it myself. I'm a really bad artist. So obviously my artist made it a lot better, but I originally was just gonna get the butterfly to represent new creation, being a new creation in Christ, which is from 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. I'll just read it to you. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away and see the new has come. That verse has always resonated with me because when I became a Christian, I really did become a new creation and I feel like I'm becoming sanctified, you know, every single day in my walk with God. And so that just represents like when I first got saved, I guess. And then obviously a butterfly is perfect for that because caterpillar, butterfly, new creation. It just represents it so well. But I originally wasn't gonna get the new creation in the middle as the body. I was just gonna get a butterfly and maybe put new creation under it or something. And then I was like, I should put it as the body. That'd be so cool. So I did. And I can read it perfectly fine. I don't know if someone was just glancing at it, if they would know what it says, but honestly, that's fine. Cause then I can describe it. This one I got second and it was the easiest tattoo I've ever gotten in my life. There's only one little spicy part, like kind of right in here, but it did not hurt at all. Literally like a one out of 10. And then the last one I got is this. This one actually was kind of painful up here towards the top, especially I would rate it like a seven out of 10. It wasn't too bad. It was definitely bearable. I was literally reading a book while getting this one done after Alyssa left. So that's fun. So this one is a sword with some like vines wrapping around, which kind of matches the vibe of my vines. And I've had this on my Pinterest for like five years. I've always wanted to get it tattooed, but I was like, I don't really want to get a tattoo just because it looks cool. Like I personally want them to have meaning if it's going to be on me forever. Cause then even if I don't like it later on in life, don't think that'll happen because I'm obsessed, but then it'll always have its meaning. So I was teaching in Hebrews and I taught the end of Hebrews 4 and beginning of Hebrews 5. 
let me read the verse for you. Hebrews 4.12 For the word of God is living and effective and sharper than any double-edged sword, penetrating as far as the separation of soul and spirit, joints and marrow, is able to judge the thoughts and intentions of the heart. And that verse just means so much to me and like really jumped out at me. And when I was preparing the lesson and really diving into that, what that verse meant, I was like, this is definitely one of my favorite verses ever. I'm obsessed with Hebrews in general and that verse is just so good because God's word is sharper than a double-edged sword. It's like the most powerful thing out there. So double-edged sword and it just worked out perfect and now I have a representation of it on me. So that's my new tattoos, why I got them, what they are, what they mean to me. Thank you for watching me get a tattoo. I don't know when the next one I get will be but my plan is to get a sleeve so i still have a lot of room to work with up here i don't really know what will be next i don't know how full i want the sleeve to be versus just like little patchwork we'll kind of see what happens and thank you guys for watching i'll see you in the next one bye <laughs>